Fellas, go ahead and take those blindfolds off. And everybody, welcome to the very first episode of Gears and Gasoline's Automotive Trivia. You knew it, you guessed it. It is trivia, I love trivia. Here, I'll take those from you guys. What do you think about uh, my, my host? Uh, I, I love it. Uh, can I get one? Oh, 90s JDM? Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. real gritty. It, uh, it's pinching my right now. Oh. It's a Japanese large, and I think I'm a Japanese XXL. So, today we are gonna be playing trivia. I just love trivia, so I'm, I'm forcing them to play in my sick twisted <laughs> game. <laughs> the way that we're gonna do it is every question that you get right is a point. If you get it wrong, you just got it wrong. You can't steal the question and it's not like a buzz in. We're gonna alternate, okay? And then when it's your turn, you're gonna spin this wheel. We have five categories. Wow, this is fancy. We've got Honda. Got you on Honda. We got Mitsubishi. We've got, got automotive technology, which is just basically any kind of, uh, any, anything in the realm of technical stuff having to do with how a car works. Uh, we've got Formula One, and we've got pre and post-war automobiles. I remember the war. You're right. Wait, which war? <laughs> I thought all, we were talking about Iraq. All five of them. So pre-war cars are like cars from, I think, like the 1920s up until 1941 or something like that. Post-war is any car after World War II, but um, older than 40 years of today. Probably should have just called that one old cars, but you know. I tried to make the questions based on stuff that you guys would probably kind of know, like categories that mm -hmm. both of you would, so I don't get blank stares. Who wants to go first? So how, how do we want to decide? You want to rock, paper, scissors or something? Sure. All right. Okay. Can I win? Then, yeah. Does that mean I go first or not? Yeah, I, I think you could choose. Yeah, I guess you could I'll go, choose. I'll go first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Okay. So you want to go ahead and spin the wheel? Oh! What I get? It's this. It's kind of in between automotive technology and Honda. <laughs> automotive technology. Look at these, huh? I have as much time as I want to answer this. Why? You have as much time as you want. Think, guys. Think hard and feel free to talk it out because you can't steal. So okay. obviously you don't want to help the other person, but- He's gonna throw me off. Yeah, well. Oh, I would love to. All right, automotive technology question one. The two most common measurements of torque are the imperial pound foot and this metric unit. Metric unit. N Newton meter? That's my it's, guess. it's his question, Mark. Oh. <laughs> I was gonna say kilowatt. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, it's his question. <laughs> you said I couldn't steal, so. No, yeah, you can't, but you can But I can't get a point. Him. I'm gonna go with Newton Gears. <laughs> hey. hey, thanks, man. You're, you're welcome. <laughs> go ahead and Dumbass. take that. <laughs> it took you so long. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. Well, we're off to, a, <laughs> off to a great start. Mark, why don't you go ahead and spin the wheel for me? All right. Do you want me to go over the rules again? I'm not giving you this one. <laughs> Pre and post-war automobiles. Oh, oh Lord. Down, yeah. Founded in the 1930s, the People's Wagon is the English translation of what car company? The People's Wagon is the Tesla. English translation of you. what car company? <laughs> Peugeot. <laughs> You said 1930s. Yeah. And what company? Yeah, what, what, that, that is the, the English translation of the name of that company. So the, the name of that company is not in English. Not in English. Hmm. Renault. <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna eventually list oh, every, <laughs> every car brand and you can just narrow it down by the stuff you haven't said. I'm just listing brands that we don't have. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I mean, I got this one. Can I steal? The People's Wagon. Think think Wagon is the English translation of what car company? All I can think of is that Darius Rucker song. Rock me, baby, like a wagon wheel. Something wrong with you. <laughs> oh, man. Can I go get my coffee? I haven't finished my coffee yet. <laughs> Where is your coffee? It's in my on my desk. Can Do you want to go grab this coffee? <laughs> oh, thank you. Okay, one, one additional. Oh, one additional hint, Mark. Okay. Th this car company, the initiative for it, was commissioned by Adolf Hitler. That's so easy. Oh. 
Volkswagen. Volkswagen. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Also, uh, I should tell you guys now, since you both needed help to get the first question, these are getting harder. So question question one, which you guys both just did, that, that's the easiest of the category that I awesome. have for you. Well, we both got it, so. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no more hints. Should have put it on the back too, so we knew. Yeah. Honda. Honda. Oh. I'm okay. certainly feel an give immense him, amount him a, of pressure. Give him a hard one. Sorry, he we we gotta work through it. It's gonna be embarrassing if I miss it now. So Honda question one, you shouldn't miss it. What brand is the luxury and performance division of Honda based primarily in North America? Tesla. Get Acura. Acura. Launched in 1986 with the Legend and the Integra. All right. Come on, no more post-war. Honda. Ooh. Ooh. Honda, question two. The Toyota Camry has been the best-selling car in America since 2002, and it would have had a streak of over 25 years running if not for this car sales in 2001. Easy, easy money. How much money are we getting for this? <laughs> Absolutely not. Oh, we're not up to like a thousand. We're actually I'm... losing money making this video. <laughs> I'm just gonna assume Civic. It is the Honda Accord. Oh. That was that. That was what I thought of yeah. at first. Yeah. I'm sorry. And I Mark. wish I would have went with it. Yeah. Civic, Civic's a good, I mean, the Civic's C more popular The, the Civic is a good guess. Yeah. Uh, I think the Accord still outsells the Does Civic. Does it really? I, really? I could be wrong. Ben, spin it up for me. Oh, let's get Honda again, shall we? Let me make this video interesting. It is Honda. <laughs> is it really? It is Honda. <laughs> you guys are really getting it we dialed in. We don't have much force yeah, to give it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, so Honda question three. Honda only produced two rear-wheel drive cars for the US market, including its sub-brand Acura. What are they? S2000 I and thought SX. this was supposed to be harder. We're getting Honda questions. Honda They're going to seem easy. Honda Accord. Look, it's either a Accord or Civic. <laughs> one of the two. But it was the Camry that it outsold. Yeah, I guess not the Corolla. Is it just me or is it getting a little hot in here? Oh, gosh. Yeah, let's spin it. All right. <laughs> Come on, Honda. Formula One. Ooh. Ooh. Formula One. Mark, this this one's gonna be a little a little bit tougher for you. I'm sure it this, will. This is definitely more Ben's category. Yeah, Formula so. Un. Yeah. This team has won more Formula One championships than any other team in history. Extra point if you can tell me the team with the second most. Can I steal the extra point? No, you no can't. stealing. <laughs> team with the most. The most championships in the history of the sport. I'm gonna go with Ferrari. Oh, wow. you got it. That is correct. And would you, I'm fairly sure you don't know. Most people wouldn't know the answer to this. Do you want to try and tell me what the second, the team with the second most? Team with the second most. <clears throat> Ferrari had 16 championships. Yeah. I'm going to say Aston Martin. Not Aston Martin. No. No. It's like a toss up between McLaren and Williams. I'm not sure which. It's Williams. Williams. With ah. nine. Which is funny to think yeah. about. They're coming back. Coming Great back. Job. Great Albon's job. Albon's bringing it. All right. Ben, spin it for me. Speaking of coming back. Yeah. I gave it a big spin, out. so it's Honda again. No, it's not. It is pre- and post-war automobiles. Yeah. Question no. number two. <laughs> in 1959, the three-point seatbelt debuted in a commercially available car. What company debuted this innovation? Volvo. Hey. Yeah. You got it right. <laughs> ding, 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 ding. Wow. There you go. Hmm. 1959, I remember it well. Yeah, I think we all do in this room. All right. Seat belts um, weren't like mandated, mandated until like the 70s though. Well, and they were all lap belts. Yeah. Yeah. Man, Volvo is really innovative. Mitsubishi. Ooh. Okay. I hope I don't get this wrong. <laughs> I also hope that you don't get uh -oh. this wrong. Mitsubishi question number one. This engine powered the Mitsubishi Evo, Eclipse, and Gallant VR4, among other cars. This engine powered 4G63. Yes, correct. <laughs> there you go, sir. <laughs> Thank God. All right, so the points as they stand, Ben four, Mark three. All right. Spin her up. My turn. You're gonna lose. Oh, I'm, that I'm wasn't a big losing. spin. Sorry. Automotive technology. Okay. What does the uh, initialism ICE stand for? Internal combustion engine. Got it. Correct. These are the softballs, okay? These, I you put, were worried at first that we I, were having trouble. I was pretty worried. <laughs> uh, Mark. 
Nice spin. Ah, pre and post war automobiles. Mark, what vehicle known as America's sports car began production in 1953? What vehicle known as America's sports car began production in 1953? The Corvette. Yes. Ding! Chevrolet Corvette C1. I think this nut is getting a little bit loose. Yeah, it's, it's Honda. <laughs> yes! Right. Rigged! All right, <laughs> so, starting to heat up. Honda is the category that we're furthest ahead in, so. In 1946, Soichiro Honda founded what would become the Honda Motor Company, which started out producing what type of vehicle? Motorcycles. Uh, can you be more specific? More specific than motorcycle? Like a moped? Ah. You're close. I mean, small engines, but they started with, they started with motorcycles. I'll give it to you. They're motor-powered bicycles. That's a motorcycle. It's not. <laughs> well, it's just a low-powered motorcycle. <laughs> it's not a motor. It's they still have pedals. You say you have slash motorbikes. They're motorized bikes. <laughs> 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 so they weren't like coming yeah. out with you know the fire blade. Or... Yeah. There we go. We got a good spin. Uh, <clears throat> pre and post-war automobiles. This is this would be a tough one for either of you guys. Uh, what's convertible? was President John F. Kennedy riding in when he was assassinated. Oh. Wasn't it a Lincoln? Do you want the specific If you can name? give it to me. I believe a Lincoln Continental. Bingo! Wow. My guy! It was a That's modified impressive. Secret Service Lincoln Continental. Ooh. They had like <laughs> six figures into it. Okay, Ben. Go ahead and spin. Mm. Yep, I'm gonna spin this direction. The direction you've been doing. Formula Un. Ooh, all right. Yep. All right. Go to the last one. Yeah. <laughs> Let me see. Could you? <laughs> last one is tough. <laughs> okay. Formula One, question two. Alpha Tauri, Red Bull's sister team, was established in 2005 as Toro Rosso. What does Toro Rosso mean? I should know that. Yes, you should. Like fighting bulls, maybe. That's what I'm going with. Fighting bulls? Yeah. That is incorrect. <sighs> I should know what that means. Do you know? Means. I do not know what that means. <laughs> you were so excited. Just... You were just psyched that you got one wrong. <laughs> You're close, but it's, like raging it's bulls? kind of a trick question. Uh, Toro is Italian for bull. Uh -huh. Rosso. Raging? Red. Red Bulls. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. Because they were Red Bulls yeah. <laughs> sister yeah. team or, you know, junior team. Okay, Mark, your chance to even things up. Give it a spin. All right. Mitsubishi. All right. DSM was the joint venture between Mitsubishi Motors and what other auto manufacturer? And then bonus point, if you can tell me what DSM stands for. I believe it was Plymouth. I need you to be more broad. That's technically partially correct. Um, Plymouth's parent company at the time. Uh, Plymouth would have been Dodge. Uh, you're still not there. Dodge's oh. parent company. Dodge is also correct. Hold on, you're getting like half. Wait, half he's, uh, he's, he's getting it, but well, he's just but getting a piece of it. Yeah. You gave me motorbike, sure. Yeah. <laughs> All right, read the question again. So DSM was the joint venture between Mitsubishi Motors and what other auto manufacturer? Tesla. <laughs> All right, well, you're out of time. I certainly uh, am. But... I, I will I will say you since you got so close I'll still let you go for the bonus point. Typically, okay. if you don't get the question right, you sh you shouldn't be able to get the bonus point. Right. Um, I haven't the, been getting bonus point availability. Right. Hey, <laughs> you should have you should have stopped hitting Honda. <laughs> um, it was Chrysler. Cr Chrysler. Oh my god. Yeah. Um, you can still get the bonus point if you tell me what DSM stands for. Uh, uh, Diamond Star. Why am I forgetting the M? Oh, sound it out. <laughs> um, 
Diamond Star. Hold on, let me read the question to you one more time. Okay. <laughs> DSM was the joint venture between Mitsubishi Motors and what other oh. auto manufacturer? <laughs> Rigged. <laughs> Rigged. Um, what? <laughs> why, why am I drawing a blank on S now? <laughs> you just said it. Uh, Bonus nine. one point if you can tell me what DSM stands for. Yeah, you know, for. I'll, I'll just take the hit. <laughs> what? Mark, just tell me. Uh, Diamond Star of its species. Motors, <laughs> Mark! <laughs> Oh, oh my I god. Just All that. right, well, you could have taken the lead <laughs> no, on that one. No, it's, I just wanted to ruin it. Oh, <laughs> oh <laughs> it's <is> terrible. <laughs> just sitting there giving it to me. Oh, okay. All right. Well, uh, you both missed that round. <laughs> ben, spin the wheel for me. Uh, Pre and post war wheels. All right, Ben. I need you to be specific on this for me. Motors. Chrysler. <laughs> What engine configuration did the original Alfa Romeo 8C use? What engine configuration did the original Alfa Romeo 8C use? I'd say 8 would mean probably a V8. I don't know what year that was. But that was, I want to say that was like before V8s existed. Tesla. It was, it was pre-war. Yeah. Which usually were four cylinders or inline sixes. But why would they call it an 8C? Ah, Alfa Romeo, man. All I know is they break down a lot. Hmm. Didn't say it was reliable, but it did have what type of engine? My brain says an inline six, but my heart says V8. I'm going V8. Okay. Uh, can you be, well, so you're wrong, no. Um, but you were, so, you were so, if you had amalgamated your answers or combined your answers, conflated V6? them. No. Inline eight? It was a straight eight. Oh. Yeah. yeah. Huh. Well, I guess, yeah, I guess my brain was right and my heart was right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so, to combine the two. Inline eight. Yeah. What in the world? The oh. packaging on that has to be. Well, think of the crankshaft and the yeah. leverages on everything. Man, no they wonder they're unreliable. They must have broken cranks <laughs> yeah. all the time. Oh. Okay, Mark, spin for me. All right. Give me something good. <laughs> Mitsubishi. All right. All right. This rally driver scored four championships with Mitsubishi before moving to Subaru at the end of his career. Oh my gosh. Uh, do I have to give a first name? <laughs> uh, give me a piece of it. Uh, Tomlinson. Am I saying it right? <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> Elon Musk. <laughs> um. If if he gets it wrong, can I? Do I step in to can I? Answer? You can't take the point, but you oh, can you can answer the question so that you can feel good about yourself no, and show. I don't care about that. I just want to win. <laughs> I mean, you are winning currently, Ben. By like one. By one. Yeah. I can't. I can't. I can't say the name. Do you want to? Okay. You can pronounce it because I think it's. Can I? Are you giving up? Yeah, I'm giving up. Colin McRae. No. Okay. Well, I can't it's, feel it's, good about it then. This last name starts with a T. I, I saw you guys would both get this. Um, Better Solberg? No, Tommy no. Mackinnon. He has an Evo named after him. I didn't know he went to Subaru. Yeah. Oh, oh my gosh, Tommy Mackinnon. Mm -hmm. I thought he was just always with Mitsubishi. Yeah. Yeah. There was a Mackinnon edition of like the Evo 5. No one's gotten a question for a while, so that tells me I probably made the questions too hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, spin for me, Ben. As I, was, as I was picking the questions, I was like, these are too easy. Mitsubishi! Oh no. You'll get this oh, one. Oh no. Ben, what luxury exotic car did Jeremy Clarkson famously race against a Lancer Evolution on Top Gear? Make and model? Uh, give me a piece of it. Lamborghini Mechelago. That's correct. I thought this was supposed to be it. hard. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. See, to me, yeah, I, I thought Tommy Mackinnon was easy. But yeah. it depends on if you if you haven't seen that episode of Top Gear. Yeah, it's you hard don't to know. measure easy yeah, or hard. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Mark, spin it up. Should have gotten Toro Rosso. You should, uh, that, that I'm was, stunned by. Yeah. That's a softball. Yeah. yeah. Pre and post war automobiles. Ooh. Very close to being Ooh. automotive technology. Are you out of these questions yet? What convenient technology debuted with Oldsmobile in 1939? What convenient technology debuted with Oldsmobile in 1939? I forgot Oldsmobile's brand. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Completely forgot they existed. 
They're they're popping off in 1939. Yeah, dude. All right, read the question one more time. What's convenient technology debuted with Oldsmobile in 1939? It had not been sold in the production car before. It is now ubiquitous. <clears throat> the high beam. No. All right. That's a good guess. Good guess yeah. um, Cruise control? I don't, no. They didn't have highways then. I don't know. Mm. Turn signals. No. <laughs> no, that would have been BMW. <laughs> no, they, <laughs> they don't put that in there. <laughs> They still haven't gotten that yet. <laughs> it was the automatic transmission. Oh, man. Yeah. Oh. Hmm. Mm -hmm. hmm. Okay. Definitely made these questions too hard. I apologize. <laughs> Mitsubishi. Oh, no. Ben, what is the chassis code used for all Mitsubishi evolutions from the 7 through the 9? CT9A. That's correct. <laughs> he's like, he's getting all the easy ones. <laughs> See, I, I thought maybe Ben doesn't know that. I know? would say this is easier than Oldsmobile. Question. Yeah, but yeah. Oldsmobile, you're further ahead. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, we're, yeah. We're, that's true. Oh, what number are we on pre-war? Pre pre-war pre -war is seven. You're almost oh, done man, with the category. Yeah. Spin it for me, Mark. Or give me that Honda. I want the Honda <laughs> yeah. back. What happened? We haven't had Honda in a while. Automotive technology. All right. Not that in a while, either. Yeah. Mark. <laughs> Come on, let's get this one wrong, too. So... This this question you can get up to three points. Okay, I'm gonna get all three points I'm, wrong. I'm not. I'm not. Mark has, Mark has hit every single one that offers bonus. <laughs> what the heck? Okay, through what three units are engine power most commonly expressed throughout the world? One point for each unit. Oh god. See kilowatts. That's one. How far was he down? Now he's ahead. Horsepower. That's two. I swear if you missed this one. <laughs> oh, this one this one's tricky. I don't I don't remember what the last form is. I know they do like a virtual one that isn't very accurate, mm. but yeah, I, I don't know the third one. And you don't know either, Ben. I don't. Okay. Kilowatt uh, Newton meter. <laughs> so it's a German word. Uh, it's an abbreviation of a German word. It is PS, which is hmm. short for this word. Pounds per square. P P F E R D E S T A uh, K A with an umlaut R K E, which I looked up and I think it is pronounced. I'm going to destroy this horribly. Please do. Fia de Staka. Fia de Staka. We should probably start converting anytime we talk about horsepower in our videos. To, the PS? Yeah. The, here's the dumb thing. We already are. They're like exactly the same. I think it's like two different or something like that. Like if, if you make 500 horsepower, good. you make like 502 PS. That's good. So it's definitely a necessary form of measurement. Mm. You want to spin for me, Ben? Oh. That was a pretty good spin. Come on. That's going to be Honda. It's Honda. Yes! <laughs> what production Honda held the record for the most NA horsepower per liter? a record now held by the 911 GT3. What production Honda held the record for the most NA horsepower per yeah, liter? Yeah, see, Ferrari took it for a little bit. I didn't know it went to 911, but uh, previously it was the Civic Type R, the B16B. Or it was the FA20. No, the B16B had it before the FA20. So that's hmm. a trick question. I need to go to the judges on this FA, one. Yeah, FA20 had it per liter, but also B16B had it before the S2000 came out. Okay, what, what is the answer I'm looking for? Probably FA20. Okay. Or F20. F20. The, the Honda S2000 engine. Yeah. S2000, yeah. But B16B had it before the S2000. I don't know about that. I mean, the B18 had it before that. The B18? The B18C had it before the... No, well, the you... 16B had it before the 18C, because the 16B <laughs> is a smaller displacement. You knew the you knew the answer I was looking for, so I'll give you that one for sure. Where's the bonus point for what well, had it before S two thousand? I didn't know. I thought it was the S two thousand. Came out in the earlier night. Oh, came no. out in ninety six in Japan. Ninety seven was the first year of the Type R, but I would, it would yeah, but came out I think also the ninety six Integra, the B eighteen C. But it was um, one point eight versus a one point six. I know the eighteen C made more power, yeah. but not per liter. I'm pretty sure it was more per liter. It was a one point. It was one set out in two seconds. It was one seventy five horsepower. Uh, hey, figure it out after the show. No, 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 no. They, the commenters want to know this. <laughs> let them, let they're, them they're, argue they're, about they're it. They're arguing right now. No, 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 ben, no. You can look it up. I'm going to cut just, it out in the just edit. Just give me a second here. Automotive technology. Great. <laughs> I was hoping for that. <laughs> what must you do to both inches and centimeters when attempting to measure engine displacement? 
what must you do to both, both inches and centimeters when attempting to measure engine displacement? This one's kind of tricky. You keep getting the tricky ones, I'm not gonna lie. I know. But you, you get the bonus ones yeah. too, so. So, so when, when measuring engine displacement, you have to do this to both inches and centimeters, regardless of whether which one you're using to measure engine displacement. Divide. Well, I'm not good enough at math. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's correct, but I don't think so. Do you know, Ben? Uh, square root? No, the opposite of a square root. You have to times it by itself in order to make it a cubic, which would be... That's close enough. What's that word? Squared? When you have the little two, you have to put the little two above it. You have yeah, to cube it. The times it by itself, cube it. Yeah. That's what the word is, cube yeah. it. Boy, it's been too long since we've been to grade school. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cube is that's a, that's why power. this is a car trivia show and not a Mark, math public show. School? Public school? Public school. Public school. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> we have a failure in our public yeah. school system. Yeah, we certainly do. Uh, okay, so as it stands, Ben, you have nine. Mark, you have seven. <sighs> Still close. Yeah. You, spin you it keep getting the easy You'll get one. the bonus question. Spin, spin what, whatever. Spin. Whose turn it? That's my turn. Yeah. Can't even remember what turn it is. You went to public school, didn't you? Is it Red Bull again? God dang, it's Honda. <laughs> <laughs> okay, <laughs> what was the Let's name of Honda's there. first production V6? V6? What was the name of it? Yeah. Oh. J32. I don't know if that's the first one. What did they have before the J32? They had to have had something before the J32. I have no idea. J32. That is not correct. Yeah, what came before the J32? Do you know, Mark? I mean, the J30, I thought, came before the J32. Ben, think uh, NSX. That's a C. That's correct. C32? That's C, C series, I'll yeah. accept. Yeah. Wait, that came before the J? Yeah. It, so. The 99? Yeah, well, no, 92. 92? They were making the 91. NSX in the 80s. 90. I think 1989 was the first year of the Honda really? NSX, or maybe 1990. Maybe it was badged as a 90? Maybe it was badges in 90, okay. yeah. Huh. But uh, hmm. it, it was the C20 and the C25 that huh. were in C20. the Acura. Well, it wasn't Hardy an Acura. Or... It was a Honda something or other. I, I should have put it on the card. It was. The Legend it, had a 5C on the cylinder. Might have been a Legend. No. No, that, that had an inline 5. Guys, tell me in the comments. <laughs> I, I should have put it on my card. For more comments. I can't, I can't give you that one, Ben. Yeah, <laughs> that's fair. We're up to like level, what, 6 on Honda now? That was level 6, yeah. Hey. Good spin. That was a good spin. Automotive technology. Oh my god. <laughs> it's not pre-war, all right? I don't want to hear it. Mark. I still get it wrong. This measurement is equivalent to 33,000 foot-pounds of work in one minute. This measurement is equivalent to 33,000 foot-pounds of work in one minute. <laughs> what is horsepower? You got That's what I would have gone. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I don't know where else to go with this. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, how much horsepower does a horse make? I saw Donut Media made a video on this. Yeah, but that, that, there's no, you're not going to know the Every answer. Every horse is going to be different, right? Well, no. But, <laughs> shut up. Just you just put a horse on a just dyno. Just spin the wheel. Oh I thought it was like 16 horsepower. Oh, All right, go ahead. All right. Then. Wait, uh, is it my turn? It's your yeah. turn. Thing's starting to spin better. Oh, yeah. Dude, I should have lubed it up. Yeah, that's pretty good. God dang, dude. Honda? It's Honda. <laughs> Okay, Ben. Well, I couldn't get level six. We'll see if we can do level seven. Since 1984, the SI trim level of the Honda Civic has been offered to U.S. buyers in various different shapes and sizes. But what is one feature that has never been available? Since 1984, the SI trim level of the Honda Civic has been offered to U.S. buyers in various different shapes and sizes. But what is one feature that has never been available? Huh. And I'll, I'll give you a hint. It was the answer to a previous question. Yeah, I wanted to say automatic transmission. That's correct. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. But then I was like, are you sure the new ones don't have automatic? They've never had it. Huh. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Is it Honda? It's, it's no. Honda. It's pre and post. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> yes. What low production Japanese sports car famously appeared in the 1967 James Bond film, You Only Live Twice? Oh gosh. Um... You said 1964? 67. Can I give him a hint? It actually might be leading him to the correct hey, answer. Hey, you do whatever you want. I think it was something that he had said earlier in the game. I don't think that's a hint. <laughs> yeah, I don't It could think. be wrong. 
I think it's wrong. Okay. Could <laughs> I don't wrong. think you're helping him. <laughs> Can I give him a hint? It's a Cadillac. <laughs> <laughs> Tesla. <laughs> I guess since I don't know the answer, I would I would assume Aston Martin because 007s always Aston Martin. What? Low I mean, production Japanese always. sports oh, it's car. Japanese. Yeah, it's Japanese. <laughs> yeah, that wouldn't be it then, huh? No, not. I, I don't think. Stop uh, helping. Aston Martin is Japanese. <laughs> Stop helping. I'm not helping. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know if I've watched that one. Yeah, it's a tough one. Back in 1967. You want to guess? I mean, I'm a, I'm a James Bond fan, and but. Yeah, but how many? I've, you can't. I don't think I've watched that one. Nobody can watch every James Bond movie. <laughs> it was Sean Connery. Hmm. Sean Connery. Oh, um. <laughs> wow. Nailed it. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's here with us. <laughs> 1964 Japanese. 67, 67, 67. 67. But, oh, I can think of one. It's probably also not helping, so I'm gonna go th throw it out there, like the S200 or something. Uh, not, it would be S600. Yeah, like a Honda S600. That would have been 60s, I think. <sighs> we gotta move on. That'd be the closest yeah. thing. I, I, you wanna I give it a guess? <sighs> A Nissan? No, not a Nissan. In the 60s. Yeah. All right, that's. Uh, I'm trying to think it's got, of. It's got to be Honda. It's a. It's a Toyota. Huh. That wasn't doesn't, a Honda. Doesn't help. No. It's a Toyota uh, modified 2000 GT. Toyota 2000 oh, GT. Oh, that makes sense. Long nose. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Those um, are pretty sexy looking cars. They're still sexy. Yeah. This yeah. one was a modified convertible version because Sean Connery was too tall to fit in, in the action. <laughs> so speaking of, you know, being yeah, too tall to fit sure. in Japanese things. Wow, big spin. Oh, thank God, it's Formula One. Hey, all right. <laughs> okay. All right. Which driver has the record of youngest world champion? Max Verstappen. No. Because he was 21. So maybe Sebastian Vettel. This world champion. I know Max is the youngest race winner. Tesla. Positive is the youngest race winner. <laughs> Max was a race winner when he was like 17. But world champion? I'm going to go with Sebastian Vettel. That's correct. Yes. He was 23 years, 134 days old. 23? How old was Max in 2021? 24. Ooh, close. Oh, what was that? that now he's going to be stuck on Formula One. It's automotive technology. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a... Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Where's that Mitsubishi at? Mark, in a differential, what term refers to the amount of play between ring gears, ring and pinion gears? Backlash. That's correct. Give the mechanic a tech question. Come on. That's why I put it in. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, he's our mechanic. <laughs> Foot bounds Automotive technology. Oh boy. All this right. Supposed to be your question. No, it's not. In 2001's The Fast and the Furious, what engine component did Paul Walker's character Brian O'Connor fry in his Mitsubishi Eclipse? Fried in the first race? It's a danger to manifold, and then the floor pan fell out. So I don't know which of those two components. Um, no, because then after the race, Vin Diesel said you fried your piston rings, and now in the mad genius and I gotta tear apart the block. Something to that degree. So piston rings. That's correct. Yeah. <sighs> now me and the mad scientist gotta rip apart the block and replace the piston rings you fried. Because the piston rings are part of the block. <laughs> <laughs> they gotta tear the block apart. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining Vin going, <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting too many over here. Yeah, yeah Mark has <laughs> fewer cards, but more bonus points. <laughs> Formula One, Mark. All right. Ooh. Who has the record of youngest Formula One driver of all time and will probably continue to have it barring a rule change? Oh no. <laughs> Think wait, back wait, to- say, say that again? <laughs> wow, he wasn't paying attention earlier, was he? <laughs> Who has the record of youngest Formula One driver of all time and will probably continue to have it barring a rule change? Because they're not allowed to be that young anymore. Well, nice to know you listen when I talk, Mark. Cut back to like a minute ago. Max was a race winner when he was like 17. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I guess um, Sebastian Vettel? No. No? It is Max Verstappen. Max Verstappen? Yeah. That'll teach yeah. you to not listen when I talk. Yeah. Huh. You're still not listening, are you? What? <laughs> I, gotta, I gotta quit saying too much. 
<laughs> well, clearly it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Ooh, the wheel's getting wobbly. It is getting wobbly. We might need to tighten it. Mitsubishi! Oh, crap. What is the name of Mitsubishi's all-electric five-door hatchback? What is the name of Mitsubishi's all-electric five-door hatchback? I tend to not pay attention uh, to a lot of the modern electric cars because I don't think they're going to last. With Mitsubishi, you were correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. Um, let's see. The, the Eclipse is a hatchback now, the big old SUV. I don't think they made an electric version of that. Dude, I got no idea. You want to take a stab at it? All I've got is Eclipse because that's the only SUV that Mitsubishi that I know of. It, it's not. A, it's not an SUV. Oh, I thought you said SUV. No. What is the name of Mitsubishi's all-electric five-door hatchback? Five-door hatchback. Yeah, no, I still got nothing. <laughs> Do you, you want? I'm gonna guess the Lancer. No. <laughs> it, it is. It is the Mitsubishi I Miev. I what? I Miev. I'm gonna I, keep not I, paying I attention. <laughs> I mean, it, it. They stopped making it pretty immediately. Oh, so. they're already not making it. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's on sale anymore. Wow. Well, that's probably why. We've lived long enough for electric cars <laughs> to, to get die. Discontinued. Well, no. <laughs> just that one. It's just Mitsubishi. It's, Mitsubishi. <laughs> it's Mitsubishi continuing to be yeah. unable to sell cars. Oh, man. Hmm. <sighs> Automotive technology. Here's the thing. Dude. Once we run out of those, it's going to go to the nearest thing, which is yeah. going to be Honda. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Mark. When tuning air fuel ratio, the stoichiometric value of pump gas is 14.7 to 1. What is the stoichiometric value of ethanol tuning? Oh man. Of ethanol tuning. Yeah, or just ethanol. If if pump gas is 14.7 to 1, you have to get it to the decimal. Just I believe get it as it's close as you can. I, I believe it's 12.5 to 1. Uh is that your guess? That is my guess. That is incorrect. Yeah, that's a good guess. I feel like it'd be around 12. I mean, it depends on. Yeah. Well, are you naturally wide open aspirated? Or? Well, no. Stoic. Stoic. Yeah. Stoic. Stoic. I, I would guess around like twelve flat. Nine point eight to one. Wow. Yeah. That's fascinating. It's a ton more what? fuel. Yeah. yeah. It consumes about thirty three percent more fuel. So Correct. I guess thirty three. What is sixty six percent of fourteen? So so if you think of it as fifteen to one. Yeah, roughly. that would be nine. Yeah. Yeah. We should have we should have used deductive reasoning on that one. Yeah. Huh. Spin. Here we go. And that's how you Tough spin. One. That's how you get Formula One. That, that's one of the ones. It's automotive technology, my guy. <laughs> In terms of tire specification, with 25535 R18 as an example, mm -hmm. what does the R stand for? Radius. Ratio. Ratio. It stands for ratio. That is incorrect. It's the ratio it's, of the width. Uh, 25535 R18. Oh. Well, then it's implying the diameter, but radius? Man, yeah, um, I should know that. It's right there. Oh, that's a Z. No, ZR, yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, I, yeah. No, it correlates to the diameter, but I don't know what it's So for. it's on like every streetcar tire? <clears throat> yeah. You want to guess? Uh, I'm assuming it's radial. That's radial. correct. They're all radial. Yeah. <laughs> you don't need to put that anymore. What, is there a BP bias spot yeah. on these? <laughs> yeah, dang. Automotive technology. Is it really? <laughs> it's Honda! It's Honda! <laughs> and Wait, it's a hard one. Yeah, Mark. we're on a high oh, right. Honda. Uh, Mark, it's Honda number eight. So, Mark, the third generation of Honda Prelude was famous for beating its contemporary Chevrolet Corvette in a slalom test. What feature, a first for a production car, helped it accomplish this feat? What feature on the third gen Honda Prelude helped it beat a Chevrolet Corvette in a slalom test. The first time this has been sold on a production car. What is, what is a slalom test? Uh, cone, cones lined up in a straight line and then oh. you go through them as fast as you can. Wait, did it have that? I'm, I'm thinking it just got rear steer. Uh, the third gen Prelude. I don't know why I'm thinking that it has that. Yeah, to be honest, I think you're right. I don't, I don't think it's called Hikus because that's like Nissan's name, yeah, but I'm pretty sure it has rear steering. I, I don't know what it would be called um, for Honda. But yeah, it's going to be proprietary. It's, it's a rear steer. Yeah, four-wheel steering. 
Yep. <laughs> wow, what a clever name. <laughs> well, I don't know if that was their name oh, for yeah, it. Oh, okay, yeah. Oh, I was right. assuming yeah. that you wanted the name that no, they no, called no. it. When was that, 80-something? No, the, third gen, which is uh, the 97 to 2001. No, no, no. He's correct. Yeah, because yeah. GTRs had it, and that was 90. Yeah. Le- oh, oh, oh. Late, late 80s. Yeah. So, and if so that was before. It was the one with the flip-ups. Yeah. So That's right. Fourth yeah. gen. Yeah, flip flip-ups. Ups, I don't know why I was headlight. thinking fifth huh? gen. Fourth gen's the skinny headline. Yeah. Fifth gen's the square. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Uh, ben, you have 12. Mark, you have 10. Close. Ooh. Not going to lie, I think we might have too many questions, because we're probably up to like an hour run time. There's 50 questions, and then one at the end. <sighs> yeah. Formula One. Yes. All right. Toro Rosso. Which <laughs> team? Means Red Bull. <laughs> Is that your final answer? <laughs> Which team did Michael Schumacher come out of retirement to race for in 2010? Uh, ben, that would be Mercedes. That's correct. Easy. Well, you, you would have gotten that too, Mark. You guys yeah, have certainly. You guys have barely gotten any <laughs> Formula One questions. So, all right, Mark. Honda. Honda. Ooh. But we're up there. It's Honda number nine. Thorne's <laughs> taking all the easy ones. Mark, what motorcycle rider has won all six of his MotoGP oh Premier Class World Championships with Honda? What motorcycle rider has won all six of his MotoGP Premier Class I'm not even going to pretend. Considering I know one MotoGP rider. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> that would have been my guess. I, I, I don't know. Do you know any MotoGP no, riders? No, I do not. Valentino Rossi? That is not right. He's the only rider right now. <laughs> the answer I'm looking for, Mark Marquez. I've heard you say that name before, but yeah. yeah. And my name is Mark. Stop. Let me go figure. Well, it's M-A-R-C. Oh. Yeah, case. he just spells it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Automotive technology, Ben. It's number 10. What is the measurement method of octane ratings most commonly used in the US, Mexico, and Canada? You're looking for the technical term of the octane rating system? Uh, well, the, it's a, just the name of it. It's a, it, the answer is an initialism. ROC? Is that your final answer? <laughs> Do you want to think about it some more? <laughs> uh, read, read with the question again. What? <laughs> just answering and then being like, do you want to reread? <laughs> <laughs> what is the measurement method of octane ratings most commonly used in the US, Mexico, and Canada? The answer is an initialism. So you're right as far as That's the ROC. Right category, yeah. I mean, ROC is Japan's. Right, I think what you're thinking about is RON. RON? Okay, well, regardless, I don't have it, so. It is AKI, Anti-Knock Index, yep. which is a conglomeration of mm. RON and yep. Whatever the other one is. Yep. That okay. rings all the bells. And it rings does the bells it not? as well. <laughs> yeah, it, it yeah, does. Yeah, it so can, we're yeah. out of automotive technology. Let me uh, cross that off so that I You're remember. You're going to it or sticker it or we can put tape over it? Let's put it's, tape it's over expo. it. It's expo. It's oh, expo. Okay. Well, but if we could put tape, we can do like full black or full white. Well, that, that's just a reminder for me. I know it is beautiful production quality, but so whichever it's closer to on either side is the one that we'll go with. All right. That'll be your judgment. Yeah. Post. Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be right in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> it, it almost was. Uh, Mark, <laughs> Honda number 10. Whoo! Gosh. Mark, what was the only turbocharged production vehicle Honda produced for the US until the mid 2010s? This is the only turbocharged production vehicle that Honda produced for the US until the mid 2010s. 2017 was when it right. was like, everything's turbo right. now. It, it, Man, that's tough. Honda produced, not necessarily sold as a Honda. Oh. Oh, man. I feel like it's gotta be like a snowmobile of some sort. <laughs> you know? No, 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 it's a car. Oh, okay. Yeah. Then I have a you, turbocharged lawnmower. That you you cool. guys have seen them. Oh, man. Turbocharged car mm. sold to the US market. My um, brain goes to like a K car of some sort, probably for efficiency reasons. It was, See, it was sold in the U.S. Oh, See, well, my, my mind is not K-Car. My mind is... The, the Honda S660 would have yeah. been correct, but... I think it starts with a V, is what I'm thinking of. But I don't know if that actually came with a turbo or not. Um, Honda's in the U.S.? <laughs> yeah, Honda's in... The, that, that's, that's the tricky part. Honda's in the U.S. Again. With a turbo. Made by Honda. Yeah, but it's right, right. Made by Honda. 
I don't think Honda made any other motors for other companies. Not like Yamaha and the LFA. Yeah, I, I don't know. Okay. It's the Acura RDX. It had I didn't a know that was turbo. K23. Yeah, I didn't know that was turbo. I should have known that. That That is ringing bell. That's I could have sworn that was a V6 for some reason. I thought it was The like MDX was a V6. Yeah. And the R RDX might now be a mm. V6. Uh, ben, 13 points. Mark, 10. Woo! Jeez. Go ahead and spin it for me, Ben. I want a gap. They're getting hard, though. They're getting hard. Formula One. Formula One's the easiest one. So right we now, now only have Formula One, pre and post war, and Mitsubishi. And it's pre and post war. Oh, no. In 2022, a 1955 prototype racer sold for $143 million, making it the most expensive car ever sold by some $90 million. What company did this car come from? Ferrari. Is that your final answer? <laughs> that means it's wrong. Can you read the question again? <laughs> <laughs> In 2022, a 1955 prototype racer sold for $143 million, making it the most expensive car ever sold by some $90 million. What company did this car come from? I don't know many cars from the 50s. Not racing cars, anyway. Tesla. There we go, Mark. Now you're on to something. Mm -hmm. ah, 1950s. I know, like, Cadillac was a big thing. They had that car that had, like, all the things on the side. I should make you, I should make Ferrari be You probably answer. should. I mean, I don't know it anyway. Okay. So, uh, it's Mercedes Benz. Uh, it was a 300 SLR Uhlenhaut Coupe. Really cool looking car. Hmm. I don't know if it's $140 million <laughs> worth of cool car. Mitsubishi! All right. What Mitsubishi is the lightest four door sold in America? It is the lightest four door sold in America. Ah. Got it. What is the lightest four-door sold in America? It's a Mitsubishi. I got it. I got it. The, the Mirage? That's correct. Okay. As low as, can you tell me how much? How light it is? How yeah. light? Uh, 23.50. How light is it? Good Lord. How light is it? 1,980 pounds. Wow. We need to stick a K in that. Only categories we have left are Mitsubishi, Formula One, and pre and post-war. Come on, Formula One. Pre and post war. Oh, God. Okay. That's more towards this side. Formula One. Yes. Okay. 2014 saw a controversial change in Formula One with cars switching to exclusively turbo V6s with hybrid assist. What engine configuration were they changing from? We all love the V10 era, but when did the V10 era end? Boy, I should know that. We're all sad that the V10s ended, but did it go to V8 first before that? I think it did, because Red Bull's performing uh, Red Bull's cars that they bring out to events to perform shows, they say they use the V8 cars because they're more reliable than the turbo cars. So I'm gonna go with V8. That's correct. Naturally aspirated V8s. No. Okay. So <laughs> pre and post war. Ah, that no. sucks. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. They're all pretty tough at this point. Ah. Mark, General Motors was the first to sell what engine technology now commonplace in mm. their 1962 Chevrolet Corvair and Oldsmobile F85 Jetfire. General Motors was the first com company to sell what engine technology now commonplace in their 1962 Chevrolet Corvair and Oldsmobile F85 Jetfire. I can only think of one thing that Chevy was innovative with. So that would be my answer. <laughs> that that one thing. There's only one thing I can think of. The first company to sell this um, particular engine part. Well, yeah, engine technology. That yeah. engine technology. Yep. So part or technology or whatever. Engine technology being like fuel injection or you know. Could be direct injection or yeah stuff like that. Which is not the answer to this, but I was just. It was yeah. 1962. 62 seems pretty early for the for the one innovative thing that I can think of Chevy doing. Do you know the answer to this question? Uh, I do not. Do not know. What take, was the a, take a guess. The only thing I can think of that Chevy did that was innovative was cylinder deactivation. But I don't think they did that in the 60s. I don't think they did that in the 60s as well. Um, but that's the only thing that they've done that nobody, I, don't, I can't think of anything else anyway. See, they were push rod. In the 60s, still um, carbureted. I don't think the supercharger came out that early. 
I think that was around much earlier. Overhead cam. Probably overhead cam. 15 seconds. Just give me a guess. Um, sure. Overhead cam. Not overhead cam. Yeah, I didn't think it was. Uh, it's turbocharging. Turbocharging. Really? Those were the, the 60s? Those were the first um, commercially produced cars. Oh, okay. As I said, that, that was around for before then. It was around, yeah. Huh. Chevy. <laughs> really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't think that. Spin them. Yeah, I'm okay. They are coming to Formula One. Kind of. Uh, ben, pre and post war. Oh, no. Cool. The 1940, we on level yeah. <laughs> 1941 Packard 180 was the first automobile to feature power windows. But these windows weren't electrically powered. What powered them? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> hydraulically powered? Cable? No. That would be hilarious. Hydraulically powered? It, what other <laughs> form of powering do you have? Imagine if it doesn't stop and just. Shatters Wait, what do you mean? Oh, my power windows are leaking. <laughs> <laughs> Could be vacuum powered somehow. Hydraulic, vacuum, not combustion. Yeah, there's a little engine. <laughs> <laughs> Start the secondary. A little the combustion <laughs> engine just to roll up the window. Yeah, I would. I would think vacuum would be the most reasonable. So I'm gonna say like vacuum powered. You were right the first time. Hydraulic power? They're, they're hydraulic power. Really? Yeah. That, that would have been my guess. Man, can like... you imagine? My power windows are leaking. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Wild. Okay, so. Should have gone with my gut. That's Should've. pre and post war done. So we've got seven questions left. Formula One. All right, let's get this wrong too. After <laughs> Kimi Raikkonen's move to Alfa Romeo in 2019, which driver replaced him as Sebastian Vettel's teammate? Oh no, how am I so unlucky? Um, <laughs> You're insufferable. <laughs> <laughs> I am stupid. <laughs> oh man. He's great though. Shut the <laughs> fuck up. <laughs> You're so annoying. <laughs> just, Isn't he? Just knowing that Mark doesn't know the answer and then just being like, oh, I love knowing the answer I'm to this question. I'm just content here. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear you. I'm right, just sitting silent. <laughs> boring. All right, say, that, say the question one more After time. After Kimi Raikkonen's move to Alfa Romeo in 2019, which driver replaced him as Sebastian Vettel's teammate? Can I say what team for Mark? It's Ferrari. I mean... That didn't even need me. That's part of the question. No, it's not. After Kimi Raikkonen's move to Alfa Romeo oh, in yeah, 2019... I'm, tr I'm trying to think of who it is. He's boring sitting in silence. It, it really is. I think you should follow your gut. <laughs> uh, I can't follow my gut because I can't, I can't think of who it is. I just know that it was Ferrari. Um, I got nothing. Second favorite driver. Yeah. Behind Pierre Gasly. Because you just like the hot guys? No, they're friends. <laughs> they're friends with each other. Just, they grew up racing together. Who are the hottest Formula One drivers? Ooh, him. <laughs> who, who is it? Charles Leclerc. It's Charles Leclerc. Go ahead, spin the wheel, lover boy. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Max was your second favorite. No. Formula One. Sergio Perez is well known now as a Red Bull driver, but what team did he score his first race win with? BWT Force India. No. Ah, really? Really. Who was he on before Force India? Wasn't it McLaren? No. I don't know who he was on before Force India. It, it was after Force India. What? I thought he went from Force India to Red Bull. Yeah, I don't know. You, I thought you, he went you, from Force you India. You got a piece of it. But... Is it the same team technically? It's just a different name? Yeah. Okay, so then all I can think of is it's Pink, which was Force India. <laughs> that, the, well, Pink wasn't the question. So what was it before Force India then? No, it's after Force India. Then it would be Aston Martin. No, it's in between. I'm like holding your <laughs> hand through this yeah, question. This is killing me. <laughs> it's not great sitting in silence. Come on, Ben. Mark, you're insufferable. Yeah. <laughs> I can't think. <laughs> that sucks, doesn't ah! it? <laughs> I know it, but I can't. I can't draw it, so I give up. You were correct about BWT. Yeah. It's Racing Point. Racing Point. Yeah. Yep. Spin. I don't think one of us got one. Actually, what level was that? That was eight. Oh, okay. Mitsubishi, the Dodge oh. Colt, Chrysler Conquest, and Plymouth Sapporo 
all originally Mitsubishis are examples of this marketing term for a vehicle that is foreign built and sold under the name of a domestic automaker through its own dealer distribution system. Was that a question? Yeah, I know. Like, <laughs> what? So the Dodge Colt. Uh-huh, Dodge Colt. Chrysler Conquest. Chrysler Conquest. And you've never heard of this probably, but the Plymouth Sapporo. Nope. Well, mm -hmm. All originally Mitsubishis, those cars are all originally Mitsubishis, are examples of this marketing term for a vehicle that is foreign built and sold under the name of a domestic automaker. So an example being the Eagle Talon. And if you want to give him that, uh, <laughs> an example being the Dodge Colt, Chrysler yeah. Conquest and Plymouth. I should have picked a different car than the Plymouth, but I wanted to have all the brands. What was the question? <laughs> what What are those examples of? Oh, uh, like this term. Oh, oh, oh. yeah. yeah. Oh, what is the term? The term. Yeah. yeah. When a vehicle that is foreign built is sold under the name of a domestic automaker. I, I know, yeah, I know it has a term, but I don't, I know what you're looking for. I don't know the answer. I've heard of it before. Hmm. Somebody's dying in the comments. It's, it's the this term, it's this term. How do you not know that? I don't know. You okay. want to give a stab? I, gray market, I don't know. No. Captive import. Eh. I would have never got that. Yeah. I've heard of that. It's a tough one. It. Yeah. All right, spin. This actor acts as Mitsubishi Rally Art's honorary director in China. <laughs> this actor acts as Mitsubishi Rally Art's honorary director in China. China. <laughs> Xi Jinping. <laughs> Is that your final? <laughs> no, He's no not idea. an actor. I know, I have no idea. I, I literally have no idea. You don't want to work through it? What actor for Mitsubishi? I can't even think of an actor correlated to Mitsubishi. Okay. Yeah, I got enough. Jackie Chan. Yeah, I was just saying. Oh, you're right. <laughs> you, you could have said the only Chinese actor you know. <laughs> you're right. Oh, man. But that was like so long ago. He doesn't do that anymore, does he? Uh, I think he, they that was still. Like 90s. They, no, no, no. They, they still list him as one. Huh. I think, yeah. Yeah. Go watch Thunderball if you yeah. haven't seen it. That's a, there's, it's just a whole Mitsubishi marketing ad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Go ahead. Huh. Oh, no, that's right. Sorry, yeah, I should have let you answer that one. Yeah, for it. All right. <laughs> Uh, Formula One. Aside from being world champions, Nelson Piquet, Emerson Fittipaldi, and Ayrton Senna have this trait in common, which they do not necessarily share with other drivers. I couldn't get you now. Yeah, this this one's yeah, that's tough. all the fake fans. You're exposed. <laughs> you're exposed. I know who these people are. I couldn't I couldn't tell you what they're all correlated tell with. Tell me something about Emerson Fittipaldi. Who did he drive he's, for? He's won races. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but there's one trait. They that... have one one distinct trait that they have, those three guys have in common. Oh, yeah, I can't think of a trait. Yeah, you wouldn't. They're all Brazilian. Mm. Interesting. Yeah. Okay, we're on Formula One question 10 and Mitsubishi question 10. So go ahead and pick, <laughs> find out which one you let's, get. I mean, I would say let's hope I get Formula One, but at this I point. I don't think you're going to know either. <laughs> well, I mean, I don't know. You got a 50-50 shot. Yeah. It yeah. is Formula One. You probably okay. would have wanted Mitsubishi, to be honest, but. Uh. Who's the only Formula One champion to see his son also become world champion? Hmm. Hmm. They're not multiple time champions, I don't think. It's a very fun piece of trivia. Yeah. I want to say it was like the son was one of the ones in like the late teen or uh, early teens after Vettel's reign, before Hamilton's reign, was one of those. One of those, huh? I couldn't tell you. I can't. Well, yeah, who won who won more. championships in the 2010s? 2010s would have been Vettel until 12. No. No, Vettel was ended in 9? 2009? Hamlin started in... These are pretty good questions. Exposed. <laughs> Fake man. Hamilton, <laughs> Fake Hamilton, man. <laughs> Hamilton started in 14. Junior Reichen is 07. Vettel would have started in... No, I can't. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's count through. I had through a piece of paper. Let's, I could let's try count to start through them. Okay. Blanks. 2010. There was Vettel. 2011. Vettel was 10? Okay, so Vettel was until 12. Tw Vettel was till 13. 13. Four time champ. Oh, really? So Lewis took over right after Vettel? So 14, Lewis. Lewis. Yeah, and then 15. until 16 was Rosberg. And then back to Lewis until 21. Mm -hmm. But, okay, so it would have been before Vettel. No. <laughs> no, I. I... 
Yeah. I, Am I missing one? I'm, I'm taking that you've given up. Yeah, it's, well, yeah I've given up. It's right? Rosberg. You were correct. Oh, Rosberg's dad? K.K. Rosberg. Oh, I didn't know Rosberg's dad guy. Yep. Huh. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> okay, Mark. Mitsubishi question 10. All right, question 10. Known as the Red Demon, the quickest four-cylinder all-wheel drive car in the world made 2,000 horsepower out of a built 4G63 and did a six-second quarter mile at 215 miles per hour, all with an H-pattern gearbox. <laughs> mm -hmm. I did want this question. What is the make and model of that car? Eagle Talon. Bingo! Uh, <laughs> That's correct. There you Bing go. Bing bong. Okay. Dang it. So, uh, Ben, you have 14. Mark, you have uh, 12. Wow. Which, which means that you guys missed... Mm. Quite mm. a lot. Just, just <laughs> under half. Of wow, the questions. Really? You guys got yeah. 26 correct, I think. So we did I it. need to make the questions <laughs> something closer to what you could get. Um, now we have the final question. So you guys can, uh, I, I want you to each take one of these. Or, okay. Oh, so this is like Jeopardy where you're yeah. wagering how many out of right. remaining you have. Then you've got a healthy lead. Yeah. You certainly do. Of two points. So, okay, so can we both win the final round? No. Well, I mean, you could both get it right, but the person with more, more points will win. So the wager doesn't matter then. Well, yeah, you, you're wagering how many points you've already... How many, it's like Final Jeopardy, however many points you want to So bet. if you wanted to just, you know, wager one point, you can right. wager one, or you can wager all 16. If, if I wager one, wrong, we both get it wrong, I still win. Yeah, right. so I'm wagering one, okay. <laughs> I'm wagering 16. You're wagering 16? No. I, we're writing our wager on here, right? <laughs> uh, yeah, your wager and your answer. Uh, okay. Yeah. So do we wager before the question? You you wager before the question. Okay. Okay, ready? Yep. Bourbon is a type of whiskey made primarily from what ingredient? <laughs> now, I, there's no reason why I picked this question. <laughs> Can I change that? <laughs> <laughs> That I, I, this is just, I felt like this was an, a good car question. <laughs> so I'll give you guys, I don't know. The, the primary can, can ingredient. I, can I adjust this to, to, <laughs> to take more points away? And you're, you're going to write it down on your card. Oh. Tesla. Okay, all right, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Did you did it. you go off with a stroke? Yeah. Okay. I All knew right. I knew the ingredients. I don't know which one was well, the primary. So, okay. Mark, you were down on points. What what did you wager? Or I'm sorry. What what was your answer? Corn. And what was your wager? Five points. That's correct. Bringing you up to a total of 17 points. If that's correct. Oh, that's how that works. Yep. Oh, I should have wagered differently. <laughs> and Ben, <laughs> what was your answer? I should have wagered. I didn't know that was how. Okay. <clears throat> My answer was corn. Corn. And you wagered how many points? One. <laughs> <laughs> Bringing you up to a total of, let me check my notes here. Oh I my god! I didn't know gosh. how the wager Bringing you up to a total of 15 points. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I'm, I'm actually impressed that you knew it was corn. <laughs> yeah, I, I knew that was part of it. I didn't know it was the primary. It was like, yeah. Because yeah. we, we actually talked there, about have it. Here, have a seat. What are you doing? I'm dropped this thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a, don't just wander off. <laughs> he, dropped, he dropped the game. I <laughs> dropped the, the game, one. that's for sure. <laughs> I didn't think about us both getting it right. I thought about us both getting it he wrong. He just thought about him getting yeah. it right. No, I thought about either one of us getting it right. And I was like, okay, well, if I wager one and I get it wrong, I'm still good. Yeah, I don't, I don't know why I... Mark, for winning, you get nothing. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> So He's gonna hold over my head yeah. for a while. Absolutely, That's what he gets. because I know you're competitive. <laughs> and the fact that you didn't win this, and I did. But I got one Why would you put right? one? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yep, that's the Loser. answer. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> uh.